Hi friends, this lesson is for Module 1, Lesson 20. Our learning goal for today says, I can find unknown parts. Now, we've done this before in the past, but today we're going to be combining a couple lessons that we've had, and we're going to do them together to show what we've been learning. Super excited. Before we get started, let's just review different ways we've talked about finding unknown parts. We could use just our good thinking. Maybe we can solve it using our brain. My favorite thing to use are my counting sticks. I can count on using my counting sticks. And also I could use those five dot cards. Or I could also just draw in the little circles in the five groups. So those are some strategies we've already talked about using unknown parts. So let's get to work on today's lesson. So for today's lesson, we're going to have a number bond. And we're going to be missing part of it. We'll have that's the unknown. So I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to use my counting sticks. If you want, you could draw little circles or get out those five group cards or just use your good thinking. But I know that nine is the whole amount. So six would be one of the parts. So I'm going to say six and then I'm going to put up a counting stick as I count up to nine. When I get to nine, I'll stop. Hey, you do it with me. Go ahead and put up your hand. Let's say six and count on to nine. Here we go. Six, seven, eight, nine. How many fingers do you have in the air, friend? Yeah, three. Three was my unknown part. Now you should feel pretty good about this because when we did this lesson the other day, you were amazing at it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and write all the number sentences we can now that we found the unknown part. That's where we're combining some of the lessons we've done in the past. So we know we can add the two parts together. We could say six plus three equals nine. What's another number sentence that would have the parts adding together? Perfect. You could also say 3 plus 6 equals 9. Now in yesterday's lesson, we talked about how you can start with the whole amount. So we could say 9 is equal to and then add the two parts. What would that number sentence sound like? Yes, 9 is equal to 6 plus 3 or... Another one we could write would be moving those parts around. Perfect, nine is equal to three plus six. So what we're gonna do for today's lesson is we're gonna find the unknown part, and then we're gonna write the four number sentences that go along with the number bond that we see. Are you ready? Oh good. Will you get your dry erase board out? Go ahead and press pause, grab a marker, because we're gonna do some of these together. Okay, you all set? Here we go. All right, you can go ahead and write that number bond with the empty part next to the five. Five plus some, I have no idea, equals eight. Okay, you ready? Oh good, I like that number bond. Now if you keep it nice and organized, that's gonna help us out. The math tools are great, but they have to be nice and neat. All right, so again, I'm gonna use my favorite strategy, counting on. Now that you have your dry erase board, you could try something else. Go ahead and press pause and try to figure out that unknown using one of the strategies we've talked about before. Press play to check yourself. Okay, did you fill in that unknown? Perfect. I said five and then counted up using my counting six to eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Hey, I got three fingers in the air again. How many did you have? Haha, <laughs> perfect. All right. Go ahead and write two number sentences where you're adding the parts together first and equaling the whole amount. Press play to check yourself. Okay, I hope that you're moving and grooving because we did this yesterday, so it should be nice and fresh in your brain. We could say the two parts together. Five plus three equals eight, or we know you can just move around those parts. We could say three plus five equals eight. Now, because we know the equal sign just means the same amount, <clears throat> we could start with the whole amount, eight, and then have that equal to the two parts being added together. So go ahead and press pause and go ahead and write the two number sentence that would be eight equal blah, blah, blah. Are you ready? Well, I'm just gonna say eight and then I'll add together my two parts. I'll say eight is equal to five plus three, or let's move those parts around. Eight is equal to three plus five. How'd you do, buddy? Oh, good. This can be kind of tricky, so you gotta go slow. And of course, we're doing two steps. We're finding the unknown, and then we're writing those number sentences. Tricky to the max. 
All right, let's try one more. Be careful. Okay. I want you to go ahead and try to find the unknown and then try to write four number sentences that match number bond all by yourself. I want you to go ahead and challenge yourself to do the whole thing. Press play to check yourself. Okay, ready? I said four and I counted up eight with my counting six. Four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> That's four. <laughs> Very nice. All right, my number sentences might look a little funny to you. They were fun to do. Four plus four equals eight. Then I switched to root of those. Four plus four equals eight. Hey, that's the same number sentence. That's goofy. But it's okay, because my parts are the same. So even if I switch them around, it looks similar. Then I could start with eight and say eight is equal to four plus four, or eight is equal to four plus four if I move around those parts. All right, did this one get you or did you do a nice job? Perfecto. I like how you don't give up, but it's so tricky which is great because our learning goal for today says I can find unknown parts. But we weren't just finding the unknown parts with our good thinking or our counting sticks or our number cards. No, we had to find the unknown parts and then write addition and um, sentences that went along with it. That's two steps and that's tricky. You're really getting really good at math, friend. It's your turn. I want you to go ahead and find the unknown. I see that one is one of the parts and we don't know the other part. And then seven is the whole amount. After you've found the unknown, I want you to go ahead and write four number sentences that go along with that number bond. I can't wait to see your good work. Good luck, friends.